We've got a viewer photo and a question coming from Catherine on Facebook asking if they saw this in Calgary, they would call it a Chinook Arch, but this is in Ontario, so what is it called? Well, first we have to address what is a Chinook, and it's basically the passage of wind over a mountain range. In our case, we're talking about wind off the Pacific moving towards the Rockies. Now, this moist air travels eastward. As it hits the mountain range, it has nowhere to go but up. As it rises, the air cools. The moisture condenses out and forms a cloud. It begins to rain on the westwards, the windward side of the mountain. Now, how fast does this cool? It cools at what's called the moist adiabatic rate. It's less than six degrees per kilometer. Now, if we have an elevation change of about 2,000 meters, we'll see temperature go from 10 degrees at the surface up to freezing towards the top of the range. Now the air is dry and it continues to truck its way eastward. As it slides its way down the mountain, it compresses and warms back up. Now, because the air is dry, it actually warms at a faster rate than when it was wet, closer to 10 degrees per kilometer. We'll see temperature go from freezing at the top of the range, closer to anywhere between 18 to 20 degrees on the leeward side of the mountain. Now, the air doesn't travel in such a smooth path. It's much more turbulent, often why you experience turbulence when landing in Calgary during a Chinook. The wind will drop and scoop back upwards, almost in a wave-like pattern. It's when we see this rise that any leftover moisture condenses back out and forms a cloud. That is our Chinook Arch. This is what it looks like if you're on the ground. You can see this bank of clouds developing over the Rockies. The blue sky you see there, that is the sinking air. That is the warm conditions moving through the warm wind. The bank of clouds and the retreating clouds would show the passage of the warm air moving right across the region. That is what a Chinook arch is. The viewer question from Catherine, not a Chinook, it's likely just cirrus clouds and there was a contrail likely from a plane flying by. More of an optical illusion with the photograph but a beautiful question regardless, and it prompted the Chinook explanation. So, there so you go. this is part of something ongoing that we'll do from time to time, which is ask a meteorologist. So any questions you have, cloud formations, weather related, you know, is this a Chinook arch? Please send them to us because uh, as you can see, Kelsey definitely has the answer. That was great. <laughs> I grew up in Chinook country uh, out in Southern Alberta where Chinooks are very common. You know, snow sticks around on the ground maybe three days in the winter before those Chinook winds come and melt it all away. Mm -hmm. But I love that explanation. Yeah, and Chinooks so happen cool. at all times of year, not just in winter, we just mm -hmm. know them more. So any questions, send them my way. And they make for some beautiful pictures too. Yeah. Mm -hmm.